Hey everybody, welcome back to Shorty Car Mods. It's been way too long since we were here. I've missed it. So let's jump into it with number 19. What a good way to pick up ladies. First off, let me tell you from experience, as someone who's owned cars that look like this car's costume, not a good way to pick up ladies. It is, on the other hand, great way to pick up men. If that's what you're going for, definitely. Also though, I kind of love this. It'd be great if it's like Halloween and they were trying to, I don't know, do like a costume from Miami Vice. Not white enough, it's it's red instead of the white, but still, then they were like, I gotta dress up my car too. And then they did this and I kind of love it actually. Other than the part where it probably obstructs visibility pretty dramatically and isn't really legal. But other than that, I love the idea. Really, really good effort. Spotted in the wild on TikTok. Car detailing hit me up. No, what are you doing? Is What are you using? Is that like a pastel? Did you just pastel the entire dash of your car? It's, what? But it it's just, huh? That's just gonna be like aerosolizing. You're just gonna be inhaling residue of whatever the freaking pink stuff is that you just put all over the place in that poor car. The poor car, your poor lungs, at least it's pink your lungs won't change color too much <laughs> when you inhale all of it in over the years. Oh God, does this count? I'm, yeah, I mean, huh, right? Okay, without, without getting um political, I just, you know, honestly, I just wanna know, what can I do for my personal brand that, will get people so excited about me that they are willing to put my face on their their car. I just like, tell me, how do I get people to want to watch and love my videos so much they want to put my face on their car? That's all I'm going for. That's all I want is, you know, seems like a reasonable request. Looks utilitarian. The raw steel bumper is the chef's kiss. Honestly, they probably saw there's a company called Callaway that has done like wagon conversions to Corvettes and they're really cool actually. They saw that and they're like, well, they don't do it for the, what is this like a C3 or something? Oh God, I don't know. I don't know my Corvette generations. But anyway, they were like, they don't do that for my Corvette. And I do like my vintage Corvette. I'm gonna do it myself, except just with, you know, a pickup truck cover for a Toyota pickup truck or something like that. But he honestly, looks like it has great capacity and it looks pretty cool and unique at the same time. So it just could use a little bit of finishing. The OG, Did, I, I'm pretty sure we've seen this before, but it's been a while. So on this day in history, in 1927, Ricky Dale Everclear becomes the first man to put oversized rims on his truck with his girlfriend's tax return. <laughs> it's the very first dunk. Man, I wonder like in the old days, would that have just killed the performance of your car because like the, the wheels would have been so much heavier than they were before? Or are those wheels like so thin and light that it would actually help because they, they would cover more distance per rotation? I always remember when I was really young and I, I think I was having a conversation with my stepdad or something and I was like, you know, why don't car manufacturers just make the wheels on cars huge? And then every time it goes around, you go so much further. I thought I was the smartest person ever. I thought I'd crack the code. And he's like, it doesn't quite work that way. But you know what? Keep thinking, kiddo. You'll go and do great things. And then I dropped out of school to be a YouTuber. Political car strikes again. Are we gonna have, I was, you know, vaguely seeing in this stuff here, there's a handful of the P word going on. So, well, we'll see. Just about kind of what I was thinking we were gonna see. Um, so, yeah, that, the P word aside though, it's also like, I just don't, why would you, I just don't know why you would do it to your car. Cause it, it just doesn't seem like an aesthetically pleasing configuration of things. I think that cars oftentimes look better when it's just the paint with nothing else on it. And 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 this is, it's a kind of not a, a like very uni, well, it's uniform in one way, but it's just kind of like stuff all over the place. And so 
Yeah, anyway. This sub needs a good reminder of what an actually shorty car mod is. Enjoy my find from four years ago that I now have dubbed the short m m w Got it. The short MW instead of BMW, I see. What I want to know is, is it actually a BMW? Or is it not actually a BMW? I don't, I, I think it's actually a 3 Series. But then it was made to like not really look like a 3 Series and it was just like they just put, they got the bumper, right? Didn't color match it, but then they were like, I want there to be flares on the rest of the car. And they just grabbed, they, they filled the shopping cart at Home Depot with like all of the caulking that they could find. And they just like, just caulked the outside of the car. Just a lot. With all the caulk that they could possibly find, just layer upon layer upon layer and sculpted the heck out of those fender flares with some nice weatherproof caulking so that it, it would really stand up to the elements. Heck yeah. And also obstruct their visibility. Found inside a real potato. Jesus lives. Found inside a real potato. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh man. You put it on, like, commemorated it on your car though? I, I guess the potato was pro after it was cut open, it was kind of like a lost cause. You like tried to spray it with lemon juice or something like that. And just like you tried to preserve it, but it was after all a potato. It eventually rotted, but you happen you were able to get a photo. And so after the potato itself kicked the bucket, at least 17 years later, you were you're still able to have people be able to appreciate the inside of the potato. So, also real potato, not a fake potato. None of those, you know, occasionally you go to the grocery store, you get what you think is a real potato, you bring it home and you're like, God dang it, I got bamboozled. Another one of those fake rubber potatoes. I hate it when that happens. Interesting. Maybe something we have to cut, I don't know. Let's find out. Two seconds later. We're just gonna cut it, but that one, it's not like technically not safe for work, but I'm just gonna, I just, anyway, cool. I think I finally found it. I really appreciate how this all came together from the title to the mod to the I hope that the owner of the car drew it on there and not like somebody went by and just mildly vandalized the car because I don't I would not even if it's funny I would not support it unless it is the owner of the vehicle who is doing it to their their own car and um I I hope you can I think scrub it out like you know if it wasn't done by the, the owner but Yep. This can't be the only Ford Taurus that's out there that this this exists on it, but maybe the first time we've seen it here on the on the sub. Clams. I saw a car parked in Essequa today. It is a Tesla. It had multiple things on the dashboard to hold the cell phones, but instead of cell phones, it has cans of clams. <laughs> Does anyone know why? Is there a practical purpose? They're really what? <laughs> huh. Maybe their goal was to like appear here on the Shorty Carmod subreddit? You never know when you're gonna be craving some clams, right? And sometimes you're just gonna be in the middle of a long journey, you can't pull to the side of the road, and you're just like, God darn it, gee willikers, I really could go for some nice salty clams right now. I'm having a sodium deficiency. And so you just Pop open one of those bad boys, but you you pop open one of these bad boys and it's all tilted out. You're gonna get clam juice all over your car. That's gonna be stinky. You really wanna marinate your car in clam juice? Maybe, if you're this much of a clam enthusiast, you just want it to be all over your car. You just wanna like get your feet in the clam juice when it's spilled out and you just wanna smear it around all over the pedals, get those pedals nice and, and clammy. Sorry, this is like this is probably going too far for people. Now you're wanting to leave because it's 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 too much to handle, and that's you j I just don't know why. Maybe maybe it's secret holders for things that you wouldn't expect, so that no one steals because of like it's just clams. I saw this aerodynamic Civic in the parking lot at work. You know what? I know enough now from seeing older posts like this on Shorty Car Mods that 
that some of these are actually really good hypermilers, things that look just super wonky and dumb. People be like, oh no, that's that's actually like a car that gets incredibly good gas mileage. And this is a well-known car for like how how well they did it. And and I don't look at that and go, wow, that's done well, welds. But you never know. Maybe it's just specifically air actually it likes a little bit of a rougher surface or something. The air in this area, it's different. Or I don't know. Camrys before families. Is that like instead of a family, I've I've really focused on I don't know, modding my Camry or something like that? But this is a Civic. That's that's the wrong car. Did you want to get a Camry, but instead you got a Civic, but you're like, you know what, I just want to show people my support for Camrys here. I'm confused. Waifu Patrol. I feel like this is not going to make the cut. I'm scared. A few moments later. Not going to make the cut. Okay, please make sure you've cut that. Otherwise, I get banned from YouTube. Moving along. Wonder if the Secret Service is looking for him. Immediately later, but say it in a French accent. I also do not wish to be banned from YouTube or hunted by the Secret Service. Why though? Like seriously, milliseconds later. Can we stop doing this? Can, can, can we, can we stop doing, can we stop doing, can we, let's just, okay, let's take these three posts that aren't going to make the cut, just crumple them up into a little ball and throw them into Mordor and stop with A, doing this to your car, and B, let's just not post them here because they're just bad. It's not even like a funny shorty car mod. It's just terrible. Although, well, Waifu Patrol, I guess, doesn't fit in the same category as the others. You can imagine what Waifu Patrol might be and why I can't have it on YouTube. But but let's just, it, these ones here. So, um, this. Again, I, I say, what can I do with my personal brand to make people so enthusiastic about me that they want to do this to their cars and display it everywhere in public and have flags and all that stuff. And the interesting thing is, I've never seen it for like any other president. Clinton, Bush, Obama. No one ever, like it, it's, I've never seen such enthusiasm and I just want it, I want it for me. How do I get people excited about me again on YouTube? Like, cause I'm kind of a boomer and I'm kind of old but he's older. So age is not the problem. How do I get people excited about me like this to where they, anyway, okay, I, yeah. Sorry, I'm just, but also though, I don't think I'd want people to probably do that to their car as a respecter of cars. I would prefer the car to just have its paint, but regardless, the disease is spreading. Please just, Why are all the posts this, man, this? How is it more now? It's more now than it was before 2020. Why is there more? It's not, why is it up? It's more than before. God, just make your car low like a centimeter off the ground so I can make fun of it. Stop doing this. I can't say anything. You're ruining my content. <laughs> God dang it. Why is it a European plate? Why is this in Europe somewhere? What is going on? Also, it's a, but it's a Ford Mach-E, which you probably don't see very often in Europe, but. Duh! Forking weebs. Some of y'all didn't get bullied enough. I feel like I've seen worse. At least it's just stickers though, you know? Where are the physical modifications to vehicles? Has Have we just gone to bumper stickers now? I want to see some cars that are welded together that are a centimeter off the ground with, I don't know. I want to see more of Ferrari cardboard box kit. That's what I'm here for. I carumba. Shorty paint job. My neighbor got a paint gun from Harbor Freight and he's painting vehicles now. So if you need a custom paint job, he's very reasonable. This is more like it. This is what I'm here for. He painted his dog. Why did he paint his dog? <laughs> Poor dog, god dang it. I hope it was just like from 
physical contact or rolling around in it, not that he was just like, I'm, a, I'm gonna spray this harmful aerosol at you, my dog. No. Oh my God, he painted everything. He painted the engine bay. He sprayed the inside of the car. He did the tires. He sprayed the tires red. Holy heck. No miss spot. He wanted to just be able to like camouflage against a red wall. What he wanted to be able to do, he saw the red parking strips on the ground where only the fire department is supposed to park. And he's like, you know what? You know how I can park anywhere I want? I will become the red and no one will see me. I will blend in and I can park anywhere I want. Really genius, actually. A flawless plan. That's it for the last month of shorty car mods that have just half of the freaking po- Oh my God. Okay. People need you to start doing things to your cars other than putting stickers on them, all right? Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed a bit. Sub to the channel, stay tuned for more, and that's it. I'll see you next time.